Once again, greetings lovely people and welcome to this video. Today, I want to show you four different ways how to bubble and bang in a life situation. When you listen to reggae productions from a keyboarder's perspective, you will encounter that most of the time there are at least two keyboards recorded. An organ playing the bubble and a piano playing the offbeat. So the easiest and to me most natural way to combine both is to keep the movement of the bubble but play the right hand on the piano. To make it even sound fatter, you can double the piano by an octave so it sounds like you play the bang with two hands. This also works with one single keyboard, what makes it perfect for beginners and while practicing you can strictly concentrate on the groove. Once you have it balanced, you can already join your local band. But most productions have synth melodies, organ lines or brass themes you want to cover as well. I mean, you could just simply drop the bubble, play the piano with the left and the melodies with the right hand, but you can also switch the bubble on and off between parts or even in between melodies. But that is also the problem I see here. You need to stop the bubble in the middle of the song. And as I said in my other video about the basics of the organ bubble, not stop bubbling in the middle of a song, because the groove will get kind of hollow. To solve this problem, there is another technique that comes with a little trick. You stack the organ and the piano on top of each other and put a delay on the organ, so it automatically plays the second guk 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 guk. The problem here is that you always have to adjust the tempo. Drummy has to be tight as f or you have to play with a click track, what most of the time lacks groove. Another disadvantage is that it doesn't work with the normal bubble. And that is why I love this last technique. It is one of my specialties I trained and maintained for the last decades. The core idea behind it is to limit velocities. If I for example delete the delay I just added, but instead limit the velocity of the piano to minimum 100, I can play the same rhythm again, but this time without tempo restriction. You see, I just need to hit the keys first hard, then soft. And if I now limit the organ to a maximum of 100, and of course with a little bit of practice, If you are curious now and want to try it out yourself, go ahead and download my main stage patches from the description box below. If you wanna know more about my life rig and how everything works together, stay tuned, check out my other videos and remember, feedback is always welcome. Leave a like and consider following our channel, we highly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, see you in the future. Drop the music, let him sword.